hello my name is Betty welcome to my channel through the globe we are currently heading to the Dubai frame the Dubai frame separates the old Dubai from the new Dubai that's the plane so follow me along let's go and check out what the Dubai frame is all about and what it has see ya The Dubai Frame is a stunning architectural masterpiece that opened in January 2018. The structure is a massive rectangular frame that is 150 meters high and 93 meters wide, offering breathtaking views of the city skyline. You can basically go all the way up to check out the city skyline. The design for this frame was based on the concept of connecting the past with the present and it's aimed at showcasing the evolution of Dubai from its humble beginnings of being a fishing village to a modern global city. Wow. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake. The weather in Dubai is very hot. Like I'm just frying, frying up like a neck. But you know what? I still love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yes. So this red path is a jogging track. Yes, nice, right? Some nice things. We're just jogging. If we pass across the Dubai frame, so you can take a little jog in the morning as you check out this beauty over there that I am about to go enter. But I can see there is quite a long line. I don't know that's why i keep on telling you guys to use my get your guideline to skip lines when you're trying to book to come and see um the different things in dubai so i will still be linking uh all the links down there for get your guide yeah So we are finally inside the vicinity of the Dubai frame. Uh, when you get to the gate, you will find a ticket counter uh, where you pay. Adult is 52.50 dirhams, so that's what I paid. And you're given up to 30 minutes to be inside the frame. So get in, take a look, get your pictures, and you're out. But the good thing is there's a beautiful uh, park called Zabel, Zabel, not sure how uh, they pronounce that but you get in and you can chill and relax once you're in or you can do it before because the lines are a bit um long so yeah let's go check out the dubai frame They have um, a little cute park called, I think, Zabel. Zabil. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, it's so cute. So I think after um, getting in the frame and watching, I think you can come chill out here, uh, take pictures, relax, have a little picnic. So it's a nice picnic area. It looks very beautiful. And I love it. And there are trees so you can cool off under the trees or the chairs yeah i think it's it's nice it's, it's really pretty actually love it there's the frame again and yeah 
so there's actually some long lines um so i think they give guys only 30 minutes to get in and out because if they didn't put any time limit i think people will be inside there for quite some time and not like that will be a bit unfair because then uh, not everybody will get an opportunity to come and tour so i guess that's why they kind of just um have the time limit to 30 minutes so get in watch and leave yeah so let's get in and see what the dubai frame looks like
Hello. Just concluded on the Dubai Frame Tour. Um, my two cents about the place. I'll start with the pros. When you enter the ground floor, you can you get to see a museum that is showcasing the evolution of Dubai from its humble beginnings to what it is now. Um, and then uh, as you go up the viewing deck, uh, you get to just see or have breathtaking views showing you the old side of the Dubai to the new side of the Dubai, which is the concept of this um, frame. Um, cons about the place is it can get a bit overcrowded and taking videos and photos becomes a challenge because just have everyone there. Uh, so yeah, uh, but um, is it a place that I would recommend for anyone to visit? Yes, uh, come um, have fun walking on that glass, um, remembering that uh, the building is quite high, so it's scary to just uh, walk on the glass and get to see all the way down. Um, yeah, and it's fun, uh, but again, the, the uh, it can get a bit crowded. And, so it can be a bit annoying trying to take pictures or videos because everyone is just on your face but other than that i would recommend you to come and um, visit mm -hmm.